many, many years, and we're going to stay busy. Uh, I hope it doesn't get busier, but this kind of stuff's going to happen. Um, I've, I've run this drill before. I've been fortunate enough to work with the Patriot Guard uh, in other places, uh, and then other organizations like Bowers Organization. Uh, but uh, and what I what I realize every time we do it is that the logistics it takes to go from Camp Pendleton uh, all the way up here, uh, not missing a beat, and then to have what we counted were uh, you know police, uh, EMS, and firefighters line or you know seeing Lance Corporal Haley uh, home at 29 overpasses is a uh, not a simple feat. The logistics it takes to get here and to get to where we're at right now uh, happened on the shoulders of these men and women uh, and to get all of us here in uniform so that we can see our brother uh, on his way home. So uh, before you guys take off, before we're kind of maybe moved off to somewhere else, uh, I just want to tell you guys that it touches us deeply that, uh, that you're here supporting Cody and his family. Um, the second that we took off from the funeral home, uh, Captain Johnson got a phone call out to the family and said, Cody is on his way home. And uh, it was a short phone call, but I have to imagine that, uh, that his mother, knowing that, uh, that Cody's on his way home and that you've got a large part of Southern California, a large part of our battalion, and a large number of veterans and their families uh, seeing him to this point and then there will be somebody with him all the way means a lot to her. Cody's in good hands and I, I thank you so much for coming out uh, and I thank you for staying and doing as much as you can up until the point where it's time for us to go and get him on his way. Um, we can never pay you guys back enough not just for the service that you gave to this country uh, at some point in time in your lives and the service that your families gave to this country at some point, um, but what you continue to give. Um, and it means the world to us. These Marines here, what they learn by just seeing this, and I hope to God that it's the only time they see it, but what they learn here is that if anything happens to us that we're gonna be taken care of by men and women like you, by patriots like you, uh, and that our families will be taken care of on the backside when we come home. And that means a lot. It brings comfort to our families knowing that this is what it's going to look like. And it brings comfort to these guys knowing that this is what it's gonna look like. Um, so other than thank you, I can't give you much, all right? Okay, my budget's not huge, all right? But Gunny from 1-4, thank you very much. Okay, and I've got a little bit of a motorcycle and vehicle Layer that you guys could try to put somewhere. All right. well, thank okay. You. Thank and you so uh, thank you from the China Marines. Uh, and we hope to never see you again. Amen. Thank you for what thank you guys you. do. God bless all of you.